We have some breaking news. Kenanitha Bikaley is out of the London Marathon 2020. Let's talk about what it means for the race and what happened to Bikaley. So welcome back to our London Marathon 2020 coverage. My name is Brendan and on this channel, we talk all things running from running shoe reviews to marathon coverage to training tips to everything in between all about running. So if that's something you're into, hit that subscribe button right down there. It means a lot. Now let's get into what happened to Mr. Bikele. Bikele took to social media this morning to let us know that he would be out of the London Marathon with a calf injury. Yes, I definitely sympathize with that. My calves are notoriously tight and I'm just waiting for one of these days where it's gonna pop. But that just goes to show how straining marathon training is on these bodies and how impressive these athletes are that are competing at the highest level. They have to be so strong, taking care of their body every step of the way, but that doesn't matter. Sometimes it just takes a little wrong step, going that fast and things go wrong. And unfortunately that happened for Bikele. He said he was confident that he'd be able to recover leading up to the marathon, but he said today he woke up and it was too bad. He doesn't think he can compete. so. He's pulling out of the race and that's very, very unfortunate. My thoughts go out with him. I'm sure that he is extremely disappointed, but he said that he hopes to come back next year and really prove himself. So hoping on the speedy recovery. Now let's talk about what it means for this year's race. So obviously we were all so excited to see Kipchoge versus Bikele, the two Titans duking it out. Bikele in the Vaporfly next percent, Kipchoge in the Alphafly next percent. Unfortunately that's not going to happen. So what does that mean for the London Marathon this year? For me, I think that it means the race is going to be a whole lot slower than it would have been if Bikele was going up against Kipchoge. The reason being is, I think Bikele and Kipchoge would have fed off each other to push the paces and make sure that this London Marathon would have been a fast one. Just like they did in Berlin, when Kipchoge broke the world record and Bikele was two seconds behind him, it would have been the same deal, I think, in London Marathon. However, Kachoge doesn't have that energy to feed off of now. The second fastest in the race is now gonna be Garamaw. And Garamaw has a PB of a minute, oh, over a minute slower than Kachoge. So I think that means this race will be a little bit slower than it would have been if Bekele were in it. But that doesn't mean the race will be any less exciting. That means actually who's gonna be second now. It's gonna be a race for second, I think, because I think Kipchoge still has it in the bag. I, I'll be, it'll be in a slower time, but the race for second just got a whole lot more exciting because we have a ton of top contenders. Like I, I spoke about that in my top five video a couple days ago. I'll leave that in the description below. But Guillermo and so many other great athletes will be duking it out for second. So that's gonna bring the paces at the back, I think, up because they'll realize they have a chance to be the second contender. That, that's pretty amazing. But overall, pretty disappointing to hear that Bekele is out, wishing him a speedy recovery. It's extremely unfortunate. We, we've all been there. We've trained for races this year and they're gone from out beneath us. Bekele, unfortunately, has that same fate where he, he just can't compete. His body's just not there. And I think that's the right call. You don't want to push yourself and make the injury way worse than it needs to be. You could just relax and come back next year even stronger. I'm really excited to see what he can do in 2021. But guys, that's all for today's update. Bekele is out. Kipchoge, I think the race is going to be a lot slower for him. And the race for second just got a whole lot more exciting. Sunday is still going to be a fantastic day. Can't wait to see what goes down. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep you up to date with the London Marathon 2020 coverage. See ya on the next one.